So long I've done the Australian summer, come across, do the opening weekend, Perry needs, do the classics, oh, and you sort of get a bit stale with the same old program. You get a little bit complacent. And what I've found with this year is it's so different that I've had to find different ways to achieve the same goal. It was about keeping myself inspired. It was about finding new events that were going to inspire me to train better. Okay, Roubaix was a long build up and then it was just like pulled from me last second. And I was like, well, what's next? I was like, well, Tro Bro Leon. It's like, I haven't done it. I've wanted to do it. <laughs> when looking at the weather, it's going to be raining, it's going to be windy, and it's like, beautiful. Madame, mademoiselle, monsieur, bonsoir. Nous commençons donc ce journal par le Tro Bro Leon. Le Tro Bro Leon, c'est une épreuve atypique qui se déroule là. The origins of the race are pretty interesting too. I'm going to butcher the story to hell. Um, but basically, the Breton language was dying out. It wasn't allowed to be taught in schools um, under the French system. And they started the race to fund a school and be able to teach their own language. How good's that? <laughs> That's an origin story, you know? Like, what better reason for a bike race? There's a lot of things that this race just does different, you know, and in a sport of more or less monotony all the time, it's it's nice to have that change. Where else can you cross the finish line first and, and win a freaking pig? <laughs> you know, the fans want to see a show every time uh, every time you turn the bike race on. They don't want to, you know, turn it on, take a nap for three hours, and then watch the last 3K and, and have nothing else change. The other day I watched the, the mountain bike World Cup and like their race flat out. So we're underway here in Novi Mesto Namaravi, one of the biggest cross-country World Cup races of the year. And then I switched to the duo and like they had the brake under control. There's like 50k to go and there's like a bunch of guys chatting. It's like, oh, this is, it must be hard for people to understand this. <laughs> Whoever came up with that alternative calendar idea uh, two years ago, I don't know how you say it in English, but uh, close to uh, a genius idea. Because it brings this team much closer to the fan base than any other team with whatever how many victories. Oh, oh. that's why we are here. I need a new razor already. This thing's blunt. I was like, I was in the shower. I was like, oh, f it's going to scrape it off. <laughs> I think that after the next thing, I'll be going to drop it. I'll be after the last letter. Copy. Amazing, eh? Unbelievable. Like, you came out of those corners, and I just said, I don't know, is it me or are my legs really good? I said, no, you got shit legs, the bike's just good. <laughs> When's this getting released? On Monday, I'm going to announce that I'm going to retire at the end of this year. Initially, when Roubaix was pulled, um, it was really disappointing because I had really focused on that and I wasn't sure what I was going to do next year or the rest of my career and I thought I'll let Roubaix decide. I'll go to the race, I'll do the race and I'll feel what I feel after the race and make a decision. And when Roubaix got pulled, I thought I'm still feeling these feelings like I'm really happy racing. But 
I sort of saw the writing on the wall. You know, there's not really much more for me to achieve in my career. I can still keep racing, I love it, but it's not just about me anymore. It's about me and the family and moving to that next step. Let's go. You have your favourite, most hardest race as your last race, Roubaix. And I just thought, ah, it was just meant to be. It's very much like a, a classic, you know? Always turning, small roads. It's always different in a recon though. There's no stress. And then when you put 150 guys down there, it's just chaos. So. I'm not that rider who raises his hands very much at all. So for me to have the chance to be in the mix to win a race, to get through all the sectors, through all the crashes on the right, the guy slipping on the left, you're in that front group, you've made that selection, you know this is it. Very soon right turn, come on, come on. All right boys, we're the best of the best, let's go for it. race. <laughs> so hard. It was pretty much a show the whole race. Yeah. Um, because no one gives two f**ks anymore. Oh, that hurt. I guess they don't feel the need to clean the roads here like in a normal road race because you are going on gravel. So it's like, well, why would we clean the normal roads? So I just slipped out on dirt on a normal road. Stop. Back wheel, back wheel. Like you sort of go through that whole, oh, my race is over, and then you sort of get yourself back together and go, all right, come on, let's just see if we can get back. Go to the front. You keep on riding. This is true, bro. This is the race I was looking forward to. Lachlan, sprint flat out. Hello. Is that working? I was like coming back from, because it's been raining, I went to get a jacket. Bridges just like lay down on the road at 45k an hour in front of me and I just like, like somewhere just before I, I landed, I think I copped like a handlebar or just something like directly to my quad. But I was like, oh, I'd better go and that was right when the team car came. Because Andreas was like, oh, okay, um, so so it's like 10k up the road, just jump in with her. And I was like, at the time, I was like, yeah, yeah, no worries. And then I thought about it, and just as he pulled away, I was like, I can't pedal. That second last sector is proper. It's really, really hard. You got on there, it was wet, like really wet, and you're just like completely covered in mud. You're like, oh, here we go. It's completely different than any other bike race you'll do on the calendar. Honestly, it felt more like a cyclocross race, dealing with rain, wind, kind of racing on these tiny, bumpy French roads and uh, all that other good stuff. Champion du monde, champion de France, 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 champion de